hello students in the last class i explained you the various types of barometer okay barometer is basically a device which is used to measure the atmospheric pressure also i explained you fortens barometer simple barometer anoi barometer all these were discussed in the last class and explained to you all fine now today's class we are going to continue with the same we are going to continue with the same concept okay and we are basically going to talk about the topic that what how the atmospheric pressure and the barometer are linked with each other the how the barometer value the reading of the barometer that tells about the weather basically whether it's a dry air or it will rain or not all this we are going to dis discuss in today's class now this all i'm sharing because in the last class i have not shared the ppt with you all okay so this time i'm sharing the ppt in case there is any doubt you can go through it and you can understand the same okay fine now let's continue with the topic explained you the barometric height now this is today's topic my dear students it is the weather forecast how to determine that using the barometer okay whether it will rain or it will be a thunderstorm or it will be a sunny day dry day humid one okay will will it rain or not so all this can be done using the weather forecasting which is done by a barometer okay so let us understand that now now to understand it in brief what we how we can understand it is whenever there is an increase in temperature in the air okay then the kinetic energy of the molecules increases because we know that the two are linked with each other the energy of the molecules and the temperature more is the temperature more will be the kinetic energy of molecules okay as the kinetic energy of the molecules will increase there is more motion of the air molecules what will happen the air will expand due to this heat as the air expands it results in the increase in volume which results in in decrease in density now how can i say that because density is mass upon volume density is mass upon volume so that means density and volume are inversely proportional to each other now that means what i can conclude is if there is a decrease in temperature of the air it will result in increase in the atmospheric pressure so this whole chain can basically be understood as the two are indirectly varying with each other okay so that is what the conclusion we are giving it at the end that the decrease in temperature of the air results in increase in atmospheric pressure because just now in the previous slide what i have explained you is whenever the temperature increases ultimately we were getting the result that density decreases density formula yes pressure is atmospheric pressure p is equal to h rho g so it depends on the density rho density so as the density decreases atmospheric pressure will also decrease similarly if i take the reverse way if there is a decrease in temperature this density will increase and when the density will increase the atmospheric pressure will also increase what formula we are using here is p equals to h rho g the formula that we are using here is basically p equals to h rho g so this you can all understand very clearly p pressure is equal to h the height multiplied by density d into g the gravity okay so that is what it is so as the density increase as the density decreases decreases the pressure decreases okay or vice versa also i can say so that is what we can conclude from here so student this should this point should be very clear to you all okay this point is needs to be learned and prepared and understood very nicely with, by all of you now let us move further in detail what we actually mean by that so i hope this point is clear we concluded that the temperature if it increases then the density decreases and density decrease means pressure atmospheric pressure will decrease similarly if there is decrease in temperature it will result in atmospheric pressure increase in atmospheric pressure okay now let's move further students
Now understand this. What all are the uses of a barometer? We understood all about barometer. It is a device which is used to, instrument used to measure the atmospheric pressure. There are three basic purposes. One, we already discussed the definition of barometer. It is used to measure the atmospheric pressure. Two, it is used for weather forecasting. So these two topics, the second and third first, so we had already we have already discussed. We are going to talk about these two now: weather forecasting and the altimeter. How it is used in altimeter to measure the height. Okay. Now understand this, students. The variation of atmospheric pressure with altitude. This is an important point. Okay. You are going to write as today's homework this particular. You are going to write uses of barometer. Okay. Uses of barometer must be written in your register. So whatever is marked with blue color, please see the video very clearly. Whatever is marked with blue color, that is your homework. You'll be writing uses of barometer as a first task. Next, this box as it is complete, you will be writing what it states. Yes, please pay attention now and understand what it says. It says that atmospheric pressure decreases with altitude mainly because of two factors. One, decrease in height of air column. So that is important point, decrease in height of air column. What it causes? It causes the decrease in atmospheric pressure because P is equal to H O G. Second is decrease in density of air. So again, the two vary directly. P is equal to H rho G again. I have told you just now. About. So this is an important concept. Complete paragraph. This complete box you will be writing as it is. I have marked for the whole of the box. Okay. So this should be very clear, my dear students. So the first point is you are going to write is because of decrease in height of air column and second is because of the decrease in density of air. Then the complete explanation, this complete box needs to be needs to be written. Let's move further now. Okay. The decrease in density of air with altitude is not linear. It is rapid at low altitude but slow at high altitude. Let us understand this graphically students. If I plot a graph between atmospheric pressure and height above the sea level, then we can see as the height decreases above the sea level, the atmospheric pressure also decreases. See this. Okay. So, this is what we need to understand. Height below the sea, of the sea level decreases. So, then the atmospheric pressure will show this kind of curve. So, this curve also you are going to draw in your register. This was the homework given. This all was told to you all to complete. So, today I am explaining so that there is no doubt left. Okay. Now comes the consequences. These two consequences I have already explained you in the last class. What all are the consequences? What happens when we go to high altitude? We feel breathless. Okay. Nose bleeding occurs. So, these are the basic consequences. Uh, observations that we see. Oh, now why and how is it? See students at high altitude the atmospheric pressure is less. Breathing becomes difficult. Nose bleeding. Why will it occur? Now this is the reason. Due to excess of blood pressure. So these are all reasoning questions given at the back of the exercise. So you need not have to do that exercise question answers but these notes you are going to write. Okay. You will write this particular consequences and then these two as it is. These two you will be writing as it is. What is the reason? Due to excess of pressure. So now see, inside our body blood is flowing and that blood is flowing at a pressure. So that blood pressure is there and outside the atmospheric pressure is low. So due to this variation, therefore the blood pressure of the patient, the BP patient, they are not advised to go at health stations or higher altitudes. Okay, due to excess of pressure of blood up as compared to the atmospheric pressure. Similar is this fountain pen which I have already explained you. So these two consequences as it is this first one as well as the second one. Very very important you have to write it so that question answers you need not have to do. This topic I have already underlined for you and I have already explained. See what it says. Weather forecast by the use of barometer. Pay attention. Now this we discussed three uses of barometer today. One is to measure the atmospheric pressure. I have already explained in the last class. We discussed the various types of barometer in that and we explained it how. Second is the weather forecasting. So this is the actual topic. What it says is weather forecasting. How can we do? So what sort of questions will come from here? This is what we are going to understand. Weather forecast by the use of barometer. See, it is the barometer value, the barometric height which determines the weather. Okay. Or basically depending upon the barometric height, we decide or basically the one, the one who are, uh, those who study this, they give the weather forecasting, okay. You must have heard today that there is a good, uh, what, uh, uh, there was a news yesterday 
that there is a um, movement in the sea and all so nearby the coastal areas they are already the government is trying to evacuate that so how they are able to do it a day or two days before okay it is all because of the weather forecast okay and that is done of course because of the barometric height okay so the density of air decreases with the increase in temperature this is an important point the density of air decreases with increase in temperature this we have already discussed just now i explained you okay with the help of the complete flow chart i have explained you the density of air decreases with increase in temperature and also with the increase in and also with the increase in the amount of moisture present in the atmosphere okay humid air at times we say you know that today humidity is the it's not too hot but it is humidity which is there a lot so that is what it is the density of air decreases with the increase in temperature and also with there are two factors which decided the second is the increase in amount of moisture present in it so on the basis of this we decide if whether it's a what drier is there humid air will be there okay depending upon the value of density of air we decide that okay consequently the atmospheric pressure of barometric height gradually decreases as the temperature or the presence of moisture increases so let us understand now how the weather forecasting can be done all the important points i have underlined for you all these points need to be written point number 1 point number 2 point number 3 you are going to give the heading as the weather forecast can be done as follows the heading and then you'll write all five point my dear student all five point you are going to write in your register question answers no not at all to be done from the exercise back exercise okay but this much should be done because these these type of questions come in exam like if barometric height at a place suddenly falls so the uh, one who um, geologists those who sit and they, they study about all this what do they do they see the barometric height and if it suddenly falls they talk about it that there is a storm or cyclone coming about to come so depending upon this the first thing you need to write is if the barometric height whatever is underlined only that no need to write the whole you learn the whole but you'll write only this much in your register what it is if the barometric height is falling suddenly there is a sudden fall in it suddenly decreases then it indicates a storm or a cyclone fine let us move to the next if the barometric height gradually falls slowly gradually means slowly if it is falling then there is a possibility of rain next if there is a gradual increase in barometric height gradual slowly increase in barometric height first was decrease slowly decrease decrease increase is there then in that case it indicates indicates dry weather okay because gradual increase in barometric height would mean that there is moisture in air which is decreasing and that is what will make the air agar moisture decrease hoga if the moisture is decreasing then it will be a dry weather next is a sudden rise in barometric height sudden fall was there which indicates possibility of rain sudden rise if that is there in barometric height then it indicates extremely dry weather okay last is if there is no abrupt change it is just little bit slight bit changes there no sudden change abrupt is sudden change in the barometric height it would indicate that the atmospheric pressure will remain now okay then there is no big change in the atmospheric pressure now let's talk about the third use as we said the third use is as an altimeter what do we do as an altimeter it is an android barometer okay what is altimeter it is an android barometer so this is what you are going to write underline whatever i have underlined this is what you are going to write in your register okay an altimeter is an android barometer but is used in aircraft okay to measure the altitude it's not used everywhere it is used only in the aircraft to measure the to measure the altitude how much is that height okay how it determines so that we have discussed let us see what it says height of the ascent with it is that its scale is calibrated in terms of height of ascent means increasing order with height increasing towards the left with height increasing towards the left because the atmospheric pressure decreases so it is because the atmospheric pressure decreases okay and then it is atmospheric pressure decreases with increase in height above the sea level so this is what it is you need to understand and write the same this was all about exercise 4b explanation in the next class students we are going to continue with the numericals god bless you all thank you so much